Do you want to get up? Yeah. There? I'm just running in there. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna deal with get people if fight. I see them. I've acquired the Athena. I'm going around the front. There was someone there. That's just that the only guard. Disclaimer, what I'm about to say in this video may trigger some of you. This isn't the intended purpose, I'm merely pointing out facts that I hope we can all laugh at like adults. Also, I don't care! We all have a game that allows us to edit our character or any other facet, am I right? I mean, if a game comes out these days without such functionality, it often makes Reddit users very sad. Bless their cotton socks. But Sea of Thieves thrives off the very nature of player and ship customization. Sure, it's not as intricate as some other games, but it does the job well. But there's one massive problem with giving the player the ability to self-express in a unique way. Most people don't have a unique bone in their bodies. You see, in every other game, people who haven't grasped the concept of being unique, World of Warcraft and other MMOs are a great example of this. Hmm, which race shall I be? Orc? Tauren? Panda? Troll? Nah, sexy looking blood elf! What shall I call him? Legolas 22469-2420 UK! There you go! Badass! And you see it all of the time in Sea of Thieves. Ever since Sea of Thieves added the ability to create a name for your ship, I'm sure we've all often seen our fair share of complete eye rolls for ship names. And I'm talking about the edgy ship names. And these edgy ship names come in three tiers of stupidity! Tier 1 is just straight on edgy, trying to make themselves sound like a feared vessel on the waves. Names like Messenger of Death, Phantom of Darkness, Flame of the Dragon, Burning Phoenix. I sure hope so, it would just be a bird if it wasn't burning. Tier 2 is where they just put two or three edgy words together that make no sense. Undead oh, Death, Echo of Terror. What is an Echo of Terror exactly? Is it, is it something like this? Oh. Justice B B Blade. <laughs> Bringer of Darkness. All right, so you're a light switch then. Tier 3 is where they try to use edgy words but don't know how to spell. Bloom of the Phoenix, the Flinig Dutchman, Bane of the Blade. And here's the thing, every single person who has a ship name in any shape or form similar to any of these names are always the ones wearing the most glowy and darkest cosmetics, usually running a Reaper Emissary complete with extra deadly and glowy pirate cosmetics with an alliance offer up, who run at the first sign of any danger. They're typically the type of ship that will beeline for a Fort of Fortune that you're sad at, so obviously you start firing at them and they start screaming, WE'RE FRIENDLY! I mean, come on dude, if you're gonna cosplay as a badass, you need to perform like one! But this is is one of the greatest things about the ship names in Sea of Thieves. It's often a great indication of what sort of crew you are going to deal with. Names like the ones above will often do as I explained, but the ships that have comical names such as Watership Down, The Unsinkable 2, Sloop Dog, Booty Hunter, and a crew that I met recently called Four Baked Peens will often be more of a threat. I say often because most of the time they're just a bunch of people who are out to have a good time, whether that be stealing your loot in a pirate game or just having a laugh in an alliance. And then you have Black Pearl. Or should I say the Black Pearl, which is often the case. You don't start a ship name with the. That's how people refer to you, like, oh look, it's the Black Pearl. That means if you're called the Black Pearl, people will say, oh look, it's the, the Black Pearl. But yeah, the Black Pearl. Did you know it's the most popular ship name in Sea of Thieves? I mean, I kind of get it. You love Pirates of the Caribbean. I mean, who doesn't? But why is your Black Pearl a sloop? Did you not watch the movie? Seriously, nine times out of ten when I see the Black Pearl, it's never a galleon. Why? Furthermore, when you named your ship the Black Pearl, did you honestly type it out and think to yourself, Oh, this is awesome. Nobody else would have thought of this. Yes, they did! Rolling back to the Blood Elf Hunter called Legolas all over again! It's one of the reasons why I love the random pirate generator so much, because it's nearly impossible to get your pirate looking the way you 
want him or her to look. He or she might have the correct body type or face type, but there's always something a little bit unique about him or her that ain't quite right. I know the player base keep asking for more customization in the character generator, but I completely disagree. Why? Because everyone would look like Jack Sparrow. Let's be completely honest here. The majority of the players would pick the most awesome, perfectly toned, blue-eyed, dark-haired, tall pirate, or the one with the most, um, feminine features. It'd just be a landscape of carbon copy pirates all trying to out-unique themselves. So I'm glad we all have bent noses, missing eyes, or have too much junk in that trunk. Like the saying goes, perfection is imperfection. But with a PlayStation 5 release coming out very soon, this is my message to all of you PlayStation 5 gamers. Don't be the glowy Ashen Lord guy that names their ship the Phoenix of Dark Rising Tide Darkness Darkness Mark II. Be the dude that actually has a semblance of unique thought in their brains. Unless, of course, you actually want to commit to that. In which case, props, you deserve it. But if you just want to come into the game and just have a good time, make sure that your ship, your ship's name, and your pirate simply reflects that. Don't try to be something you are not, I think is the message of this entire video. So let's hear it. What ship names have you seen on your travels in the Sea of Thieves? Leave your comments down below. It would actually be awesome to see any screenshots you have for your ship names you have encountered over on my Discord. Links down below. Thank you for joining my TED Talk today, everybody, and I'll speak to you all very soon. Don't forget to blub that sub and flick that thingy. And happy sailing. Also, anybody in the comments complaining about this video subject matter, you know for a fact has one of those edgy ship names. Am I right?